Hey guys, Jacob here, Pusher. Let's talk about the intake manifold and passenger side charge tube for the 2008 to 2010 Ford Super Duty trucks with the 6.4 power strip. We have our parts here, and we have the factory parts here. Let's talk about these factory parts here for a second. This is the factory passenger side charge tube. You can see this baby has quite a few bends. It also has most notably a really big crush spot in it. This area goes right by the radiator and core support. Also, an interesting thing to note is this tube actually has what we call an inverted bead in it. This is basically takes the place of an external bead like our manifold and the factory manifold has. It really doesn't do that good a job at holding the couplers on, and it also requires that the ID of the tube to be reduced. So really not a good combo of features on that guy. Next up is the factory manifold. You can see there's a lot going on with this thing. This is where our EGR cooler used to bolt to. This is our EGR valve actuator and our throttle valve actuator. On the front of the manifold, there's a throttle body, just like a gas car. This throttle body basically opens and closes when the EGR system is active or not. And then the EGR valve opens and closes when the EGR is uh, active. So this EGR valve here requires a really big boss to be inside the manifold for it to seat on, which really cuts down on the cross-sectional area inside the manifold for your clean incoming air to go past. That combined with the throttle valve nets some pretty serious restrictions on that thing. So our solutions to that are sitting here. This is our passenger side charge tube. You can see there's a lot less bends. It takes a much more direct routing or a path. You can also see that it's not crushed at all. This does require a little bit of trimming to the core support cap that I'll talk about in a second. You can also see that it has really nice big external beads which is much more conventional than the inverted style and do a lot better job at holding this tube on at elevated boost levels. As you know, these trucks came with a small set of compounds, which make pretty good boost with a good tune. So it's pretty critical to have that type of bead setup if you want to keep your connections together. This is our manifold. You can see there's no provisions for the EGR system on it, so you will need an EGR delete tune to be able to run this manifold. By the way, these can be purchased separate if you want to buy just the manifold or just the tube by itself, you can do that. You can see that this guy makes a nice arc and comes down and gets as close to vertical as possible so when it mounts to that lower manifold you have pretty good divided flow to each cylinder head. Also the flange is fully machined that has the o-ring groove on the bottom that matches the factory manifold and utilizes a new factory Ford o-ring which is pretty cool because you can basically utilize these things as many times as you want. If you work on your truck a lot and you need to take this off for some reason, the O-ring really never gets damaged like a regular gasket does. So it's a pretty cool feature. Also, you can see this flange uses four equal length short bolts. The factory manifold utilizes two long and two short. So we actually source two short factory Ford bolts from Ford. So all your hardware remains the same, keeps everything looking clean, keeps you from grabbing two different sockets every time you want to work on this thing. Also on the back here are auxiliary 8th inch MPT ports, which is the most common thread for water meth injectors, nitrous injectors, or mechanical boost gauges. If you don't have something to put in these ports when you get the manifold, all of our parts always come with equal port plugs as they do ports, so you can seal those off until you're ready to use them. Also, we stock these manifolds in two and four port versions. So basically that means that this is a two port version, you have two ports there, if you ordered a four port, you get four ports. You can get other counts if you want, but we stock two and four port versions ready to go. Also, you can see these parts are coated in our blue powder coat. We stock these in six different colors at our facility, so you have a lot of options there to match what you got going on or, or get the color that you like. You can see that because we switched to that external bead setup, we supply new heavy-duty couplers. We also supply all new stainless clamps. They're stainless the whole way through, threaded rods, nuts, the whole thing is stainless. Those stay looking good for you know, practically forever. This setup comes with a full set of instructions that walks you through the whole setup. Like I was saying, you need to do a little trimming to fit that tube through that core support section. You have to remove that upper cap on the radiator support area anyway to get this tube out, so it's really not a big deal. The instructions show you a little tab you got to trim to fit that through really minor. Other than that, this is all you know set up right on the top of the engine bay, right in the front area, really easy to get to. I would say you know it's maybe a one to three hour install depending on you know your speed of work and you know how bad you want to get it done. Lastly, this setup comes with 
the ever coveted pusher sticker so you can show off the good parts that you have without opening the hood. These parts are all made here in our facility here in the US. It's all sourced here, Americans making them. If you have any questions about this stuff,